Good evening, everybody. This is John Cunningham with the city of Edwardsville, and welcome to the 2018 Halloween Parade on October 31st, 2018. The theme for this year, celebrating Illinois history in honor of the Illinois Bicentennial. And we have the Glen Carbon Police. When the uh, state of Illinois became the 21st state. We'll start things off with the Edwardsville Police Department. That's probably Chief Keevan driving the vehicle. It is. Got his kids in there throwing out candy. Looks like he's got a prisoner riding shotgun with him. I'm not sure how come that's, uh, why that's acceptable, but apparently it is tonight. I think that's one of his sons in the back. Followed closely by the Edwardsville Dare Camaro. In case you didn't know, that's not painted. That is a wrap along the whole car because it's a lot easier to peel that stars and stripes and flag off than it is to repaint the whole thing. Followed by American Legion Post 199. And some stragglers here behind the dare car. I'm assuming they're with the post. As you can tell by uh, the background, there are Again, thousands of people. There's an estimate of around 20, 24,000 people here this evening. And you can tell it's, gosh, it's 10, 12, 15 people deep along the streets. This is the uh, Mayor Hal Patton's car. He's on the other side of the Jeep passing out candy. And Rob Jackstat, too. He's the Glen Carbon Mayor. He's passing out candy somewhere, I'm sure. Oh, he's coming up on our side right here in the orange. Followed by SIUE Chancellor Randy Pembroke. I'm sure he's out there passing out candy. There's uh, Mayor Jack Stett right there in front of us. Next we have the Edwardsville Glen Carbon Chamber of Commerce, who is our gracious host tonight for the, uh, for the Halloween parade. Again, a lot of kids out in costume. The crowd is so full because we have trick-or-treating the night before. So everybody got their candy last night. So everybody could come tonight to the parade, which is why there are so many people here. Followed closely by the Edwardsville Municipal Band, which was formed in 1927. They perform on special occasions throughout the year and even uh, are part of the Edwardsville Arts in the Park program where they play Thursday nights during the summer at 8 p.m. at the uh, Edwardsville City Park Bandstand. Let's have a listen to the Edwardsville Municipal Band. I'm hosting solo tonight. Normally my partner, Jim Bridwell, is here with me, but he's decided uh, to step into retirement this year. Hopefully next year we can coax him back, but we'll soon see. There's the Edwardsville Muni Band van, carries all their equipment back and forth to all the various places they perform. I think I see here on the sidelines, that's Dr. Cramsey, principal of Edwardsville High School, standing there in the gray trench coat. I believe that's him. Yes, it is. He's wanting to get some candy. He's trying to fill up his candy bag there. <clears throat> Looks like next we have uh, City of Edwardsville Alderman, I believe. The city alderman consists of Jack Burns, Craig Lauer, Art Rizzavi, Will Krause, S.J. Morrison, Janet Stack, and Chris Farrar. Also in the truck is uh, the city clerk, Ginny Wachesek. Throwing out candy to everybody. I hope I pronounced everybody's name right. <laughs> Next, I believe, is followed by the Village of Glen Carbon trustees. I'm not sure who is all uh, part of the float, but the trustees are Bob Marcus, Micah Summers, Steve Slimmer, Ben Malachewski, Walter Harris, and Mary Beth Williams. There's the Glen Carbon administrator right there, driving the truck.
Next, we have the EHS homecoming queen, Lydia Hemmings. She's got some candy. I don't know who's driving, but that's a, that's a Camaro, I believe, I think. It's a sweet car, though. That's all I know. Next, we have EHS Junior. She's not on my list here. A junior queen, I'm not sure what she is. Or Prairie State teen, I guess. McKenna Vreek, a junior at Edwardsville High School. That's it. That's who it was, McKenna Vreek. Followed closely by the Edwardsville High School dance team. They'll be performing this Saturday at the Edwardsville football playoff game. The Tigers reached round two of the IHSA 8A playoffs. They defeated Evanston Township last Friday, 44-27. So they move on to round two, which will be here at the Edwardsville Sports Complex on Saturday, I believe. Yes, Saturday, November 3rd at 5 p.m. You can check with the high school on uh, tickets and availability for, uh, for the great high school game. I think they'll be playing uh, West Aurora, who's 9-1 on the season. Edwardsville comes into that game at 7-3, uh, I believe. Aurora West was uh, ranked 7th. EHS was seeded 23rd in the 8A playoffs. But again, pulled the upset last week against Evanston Township. So hopefully the Tigers can get back to the, at least to the semifinals like they did last year and, and maybe into the finals and, and win state. That would be fantastic. Anderson Hospital follows next. They are also one of this year's uh, major parade sponsors. I'll, I'll go through that list when we cl get closer to the end of the parade. All the kids in their costumes lined up along. You get a lot of candy here tonight as well because all the floats are passing out candy. Growing to serve you, Anderson Hospital. That's a nice looking float. Got a bunch of members from Anderson Hospital passing out candy and walking in the parade. Followed next by First Community Credit Union. Again, I don't know if I mentioned this. I, I believe I did, but the theme of this year's parade is... Uh, celebrating Illinois history. Every year they have a different theme and, and that's what this year's is. They are also, the First Community Credit Union is also one of our sponsors. Followed by, followed by a wildflower shop. And here's some ladies dressed up as potted plants. A couple tulips, some, uh, some sunflowers, nicely done. Followed next by the Hospice of Southern Illinois. They've been in the parade for numerous years. Was just at a 5K run last weekend, sponsored by Hospice for one of our dear friends. Next, and this one will go on for a while, this is the Edwardsville Little League Football Tigers, players and cheerleaders. There should be about six flatbeds of football players and cheerleaders. There they are. This is uh, a great starter program for the district as they go through middle school and play football, eventually to high school, and some of them eventually to uh, the college ranks. But uh, they start young and, and they play all the way through. So uh, a good feeder system for the high school, that's for sure. I, I don't know how many teams there are, but I know there's over 400 families involved. Uh, they teach them the fundamentals of full contact football and competition, along with developing cheerleaders, winning attitudes, confidence building, and team camaraderie. So, uh, fantastic program. Uh, I can't remember how long they've been in existence, but it seems like forever. Great program for the youth here in Edwardsville, both for boys and girls. And again, they still keep coming, and I, you know, this is only a small, small portion of how many players and cheerleaders they have. 
lot of effort goes into this program on, on behalf of the coaching staffs and also the moms and dads involved. They gotta get their kids everywhere and, and get them ready to play in the cheer. So again, great program for the city. You see some people in shorts out here tonight. It's really a, a, a nice night. We've been here some years where it's been snowing, so it's great to see that, uh, of course, with the nice weather brings out a lot more people, as you can tell. Last year it was pretty chilly and, and there wasn't this, this amount of people, so it's, it's good to have everybody out here tonight. Again, uh, the estimate was 20,000. I'm guessing there's gonna be more here than that, that's for sure. Ooh, handing out water bottles, I need one of those. Oh, I think she hooked me up with, <laughs> that's right. Brianna, the erstwhile camera person, has uh, scored one of the water bottles. I don't think she's gonna give it to me. <laughs> she's not, she's keeping it. She's also taking all the Snickers, which are my favorite. I'm not sure, uh, I'm not sure she's gonna be around much longer. <laughs> oh, there's some cheerleaders there. I, th I still think we got some Tigers coming. Public Works and the Police Department does a fantastic job with the parade, keeping, keeping the kids back at bay as, as best possible, but also the Public Works Department and the Parks Department cleaning up after the parade. Tomorrow morning, you'll never know there was a parade here. That's how spick and span the streets, streets are tomorrow. They, as soon as the parade goes through and the crowd disperses, they're out here working until all, all hours of the night, taking care of business, keeping our streets clean. So fantastic job by... Uh, both the police department and the uh, parks and uh, public works department. Here's Crushed Red, a van. I'm not sure what that is on top. Crushed Red's one of the newer restaurants here in Edwardsville, down on Park Street next to the public works building. They're in the same building as uh, Madison Mutual and Flint Law Office, I think, is up there as well. Nice place to eat. Another proud event sponsor is JF Electric. Another one of our major sponsors. I'm, I'm hearing myself because there's a, the parade is being announced on the other side of the street as well for the people in this vicinity anyway. This is JF Electric's float. Fantastic. Get your kicks on Route 66. That is fantastic. Look at that. There's a Katza bottle in Collinsville. Look at that. That's fantastic. Jeff is celebrating Illinois history with a dedication to Route 66. It's a nice GTO that just passed us. Next we have La Best Pet Resort and Spa. I'm telling you, pets get all the good stuff nowadays. Professional grooming for your pet. I believe they come to you. If I'm not mistaken. And there's some pets. They look freshly groomed. And followed closely are, are the Edwardsville High School cheerleaders. Again, they'll be taking care of business this weekend at Edwardsville Sports Complex. Oh, here's a little cheer for them. Let's have a listen. Again, another fantastic program. Talk about the football team and how uh, how great their tradition is of winning, but uh, the cheerleaders as well, when they're in competitions, uh, more often than not, they bring home first place. So uh, again, a fantastic program run by great coaches out at the high school and middle school level. Next we have Edwardsville Robotics. Go figure. Got a little robots. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna crash and battle each other, but uh, they look pretty cool anyway. 
I wonder what your IQ has to be to be in Edwardsville Robotics. Probably pretty high. I'm just guessing. There's the Edwardsville Robotics Club. I know some of those people out there. Looks like we have a lull in the parade here as uh, we got some, I wonder if there's a bike surgeon people or if they're just riding through the middle of the parade. It's starting to spit a little bit, some sprinkles here, but I think we'll be okay. If it starts coming down more than that, we might have to pack up shop. But yeah, this is uh, the bike surgeon outpost. I'm assuming these are some of the people from that group. They all have Jason masks on. I'm not sure what's that about, but doing some bunny hops there in the middle of the street. Kids, don't do this at home, at least as long as you are got to wear your helmet anyway, that's for sure. Yeah, if it's, if it's raining like this, we should be okay. As long as it doesn't start coming down, we'll be fine. Only had to cancel the parade once due to rain in my, gosh, 23, 24 years doing this. So we've been lucky. Yeah, this is the bike surgeon, bike support. Ooh, there's Chucky. Scary. Ooh, again, another big lull in the... Uh, in the parade here. I don't know if the bikes are taking up some of that space, but in the distance there, I don't see many more floats coming just as yet. So um, the bikers got their own, uh, got all the Main Street here to ride up and down. The Edwardsville Glen Carbon Chamber of Commerce Parade is nearly 100 years old. They don't have an exact date when this thing started, but they know it's awful close to 100 years. So this parade has been going on for a long time. It, it goes on rain or shine. Uh, again, in the 25 years I've been with the city, uh, we've only missed it once because of the rain. We've stuck it out through the snow and the super cold weather, but uh, that's not tonight. It's, uh, it's kind of cool, but uh, a lot of people out here tonight. And again, everybody went tr trick-or-treating last night. My goodness, it was 75 degrees last night. It was crazy. So uh, we had about four to 500 kids at our house last night. We almost ran out of candy. Had to, had to go into the kids' bags and throw some of the kids' candy out because we were running out. They don't know. <laughs> they don't know that. Plus, I went through and got, again, I got the Snickers out for myself, so... What they don't know won't hurt them. As long as they don't watch this later, they won't know. It looks to be we have a band coming up next. And if I'm not mistaken, this is another group that will be out in force on Saturday evening. I uh, can't quite see him just yet, but maybe you can hear him here in just a little bit. It's the Edwardsville High School Marching Tigers Band. And again, I mentioned the, the great reputation that the football team has, that the cheerleaders have. The marching band is just the same. Uh, there's over 150 marching tigers under the direction of Marvin Battle. Um, just recently, in, in uh, late September, they participated in the 2018 preview of Champions Marching Band Festival at McKendree University and swept every category. Got first place in every single one. That includes Grand Champion, Best Music, Best Visual, Best Percussion, Best Color Guard, on and on and on. And again on October 6th, they played at a band marching band competition in Carterville and won Grand Champion again. So let's have a listen. Here's the, the flag core. And again, your Edwardsville Tiger High School Marching Band.
again, you want to see him perform, not just in a parade, but out on the field. They'll be performing on Saturday evening, halftime of the Edwardsville football game. They're all dressed up as zombies. Oh, doing a little Michael Jackson uh, thriller action. I don't think that's their halftime show. I think this is just a little special for tonight. <laughs> Big hand from the crowd here. Uh-oh. Some people are getting run over. <laughs> Gotta love the drums and the cymbals. I think that's Mr. Battle right here in the, in the long hair. I'm gonna guess it is. He's got a big mask on, so I can't tell, but I think that's him. That's the director of the band right there. promoting the craft fair as well, which is the second weekend in November, Saturday and Sunday, Saturday 9 to 4, Sunday 11 to 4. That's a great place to get, uh, get some Christmas gifts. It's a huge fundraiser out at Edwardsville High School, and, you know, name it, you'll find it out at the, uh, at the craft fair held at Edwardsville High School. Following next, we have, uh, oh, that's definitely lit up. It's the F FCB Edwardsville Bank. I don't think the guy selling the glow wands is part of the FCB Bank, but you know, he's getting some, some play time anyway. It's a cool float. Next on our list, we have the Hawthorne Animal Hospital. Looks like uh, Honest Abe is in the back there with his dog Fido. Not sure Abe's dog was called Fido, but uh, not sure how historically correct that is. <laughs> but a lot of extra puppies walking around here as well. Hawthorne Animal Hospital, making history since 1956. Four score and seven years ago. That's the Gettysburg Address, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah, I thought so. I think this is, it is, Rick Martini with State Farm Insurance. There's the State Farm bear waving at us in the back of the pickup. And a band. This is, uh, oh, joining Rick is the Love Your Neighbor Project. They're singing in the back of the on the trailer there. 
They're a great band. They've actually played at the Wildy Theater here in town. Their mission is to bring love and bring people together through their music. Check out State Farm and the Love Your Neighbor Project. Next, I believe it is, it's the Bank of Edwardsville. The bank is, while the state is celebrating its 200 years, the Bank of Edwardsville has been celebrating a milestone as well. It's 150th anniversary. They continue that celebration with the Halloween parade float, honoring one of our state's greats, the uh, Abraham Lincoln. Look at the penny, it's even his mouth is moving on the penny. That's fantastic. And everybody has the tall hats. Even the dinosaur across the way, wearing a, wearing a top hat. I don't know what hat that's called. It's not a top hat, a tall top hat, I guess. But the Bank of Edwardsville, celebrating 150 years. Frankenstein's wearing a hat too. Everybody's got the Abe thing going on. Are they handing out chocolate pennies? Oh my gosh. Man, Brianna, you are loading up back over there. You're not gonna need dinner. Oh, here we go. We have Tiger Plumbing, Heating, Air Conditioning, and Electrical Services. TrustTiger.com if you're interested. Followed next by the EHS Tiger Ice Hockey. Various club teams. Uh, I know the, there are two varsity squads, both uh, under the head coach of Jason Walker. It's the Mid-States Varsity and the MVCHA Varsity. I'm not sure if this is all varsity, probably some JV players in there as well, but that's the EHS Club ice hockey teams. Fantastic group of players. Again, uh, the MVCHA squad wins that, it seems like, every year. There's Jason right there in the, in the, in the toboggan there with the ball on top. But the Mid-States uh, varsity team as well, they play uh, mostly St. Louis squad, so it's a bit tougher division, so uh, they have their hands full, but always do superb job. Next we have the Victory Star Twirlers. This is just the sign for them right now. I can see them kind of in the back behind the truck. But uh, they're from Edwardsville and are comprised of 50 baton twirling students in grades 3 through 12 under the direction of Miss Beth Duncan and Andrea Gaskell. They uh, march in area parades, perform at various functions and festivals and nursing homes in the Metro East area. They got some sparkly outfits. I say this every year, I'm waiting. One of these days, they're gonna have the Bretons lit on fire. One of these days. I'm still waiting for it. Sooner or later, somebody's gonna light something up and we're gonna, we're gonna have a party. Maybe not so much the little ones here, but, but you know, somebody's gonna light something up. Fantastic job. That club's been around, that group's been around for a long time. Great job. Again, you see various police officers and uh, walking up and down trying to keep the kids off the street. So far, so good. You know, everybody likes candy, so uh, they tend to rush out, but we want to keep everybody safe. I'll, I'll say it again. We do have a, some sprinkles here every now and then, but the amount of people at this parade is crazy. You can't get into town. They were setting up chairs along the route at two o'clock this afternoon. It's crazy. You can't get into town once this bad boy starts. Here we have Metro Eye Care. Uh, got, they got Popeye going on, two cans of spinach holding the sign. Popeye the Sailor Man. Who's the girl? That's Olive Oil, right? Isn't that her name? I think so. And, and Blue Toe, right? Yeah, he's the bad guy. And who's the guy who eats the hamburgers? 
I can't remember his name. I don't see him out there. Wil Wilbur or something? I can't remember what his name is. <clears throat> Another small lull in the parade. Um, again, we're glad everybody's out here. We're hope... Uh, oh. Looks like uh, our live feed is down for some reason. Let's see if that works. I think we're back up live again. Sorry about that. We've got a lot going on here tonight. I don't know if the rain is what got on some of the equipment there, but yeah, I think it's okay. <clears throat> well, for those watching live, we had a, a few technical difficulties. Our live feed went down for some reason, but it looks like we're back up. Massage Lux is the next participant in the parade. Yeah, if you need a massage, go to Massage Lux. Can't say that I've ever had one. I, I probably don't know what I'm missing, so I don't know. Oh, they're throwing out water bottles too. <clears throat> Followed next by uh, Grogan's Academy of Martial Arts as they empower kids and adults to be their personal best, believe in themselves, to stand up to bullying, and make our society a better place to live. Ooh, some nunchucks and some, some bows there. A few twirls and some flips. Nicely done. Oh, here comes some more. They got a big program. They're right here in downtown Edwardsville. There's Mr. Grogan himself in the back of the... Uh, of the avalanche there. Oh, I see some orange belts, some green belts, some white belts. I'm sure there's a black belt in there somewhere. They might be riding in the truck. Yeah, they're, they're riding in the truck. This is Scott Credit Union. Looks like a lot more people than the Scott Credit Union, but we'll see. There's a lot of people with that group. It is, they're all Scott Credit. They got all got bags, so that's a lot of people out here for Scott Credit Union. Some kids and families all together. That's a cool parade, a uh, cool float. They got a lot of candy. And there's a ghost waving at us. They were not as part of my list unless somebody got out of order there. Maybe they snuck in, I'm not sure. Next is the Hintz Huntley Family and Friends. They are celebrating Illinois history by representing past presidents and governors. Oh, look at that Abe Lincoln. And I'm guessing that's Barack Obama? Yes, it is. Look at that. Barack is working it here in downtown Eville. Next, we have the Edwardsville Foundation. 
along with the Cougar Basketball Team and Alumni Association. You can definitely tell the basketball players. They're basically as tall as Abe Lincoln and Barack Obama were walking through the streets. Uh, there's some guards in there, but, you know, they're still pretty tall, too. We hope they have a great year this year under the direction of Coach Harris. Uh, it's, it's a great time going out and watch both the men and women uh, basketball teams play out at SIUE, at the Vidalamine Center. Great place to watch a basketball game. Great action. A lot of good games out there. Coach Harris, uh, actually, oh, I think that's him right here coming up on the, leading the, leading the back of the way there. He's uh, played at Edwardsville High School, so uh, came home to, to coach the Cougars. Played ball in college with Dwayne Wade at Marquette University. Next, I believe this is the Liberty Middle School baseball team. They did something no one else has done before at Liberty. Uh, they brought home the IESA 3A state championship. They make Edwardsville history as the first boys middle school baseball team to ever win an IESA state baseball championship. Congratulations to Coach Sabatino and the eighth grade boys baseball team. They were congratulated at a recent school board meeting. Everybody came up and said their names and got a great big round of applause at the end of the meeting. Again, that's another, those kids are going to be seen uh, uh, in high school playing. So uh, Coach Funkhauser for the EHS baseball team has got a bright future as far as the players coming up. Next, we have uh, Stillwater Senior Living participating in the parade. They got a bus full of people. Lady dressed up as a cow over on the other side, or maybe a Dalmatian. I couldn't tell. Could be a Dalmatian. But there's some of them in the van. Everybody waving. Fantastic. They're not throwing out candy. I'm guessing they're eating it and not throwing it out. Nice call. Oh, look at that little baby out in front. Nice. Let's see. Next, I think we have PNC Bank. They look to. They look like uh, there's a uh, floats or something. Is this PNC Bank? We'll check when we get closer. Nope, I don't think so. No, this is the Artistic Gymnastics Institute. Their float plays homage to the ice cream sundae. Go figure. Who to thunk it? Oh, look, they got water. they got tuby things as the straws. That's pretty neat. That's a fantastic float. Again, that's the Artistic Gymnastics Institute. Nobody's doing any flips, so uh, probably hard to do that when you're not on a mat. We don't want anybody breaking an arm or something. Ice cream sundae sounds pretty good right about now. Again, it's warm enough, but you can have an ice cream sundae just about any time. It doesn't have to be hot or cold. I, I might be stopping by someplace at the, uh, at the end of this bad boy. Next, we have Highland Recycling and Shredding. More of a truck than a float, but, uh, you know, it accomplishes the same. Reclaim your space. Got to recycle. I hope you recycle, Brianna. You do? Okay, that's a good thing. Ooh, there's, they, they're followed by the, uh, the Incredibles. All of them are out there. Elastigirl, 
Who's the speedy guy? Not Flash. I can't remember what his, what the, his nickname is. But anyway, one of the good movies. Good kids movies out there. Looks like we have the Ed Glenn Habitat for Humanity. They built the playhouse as a fundraiser. They are doing a build at 720 Klein and needs volunteers. Hopefully the winner will enjoy this playhouse for many, many years. I wonder who won it. Habitat for Humanity. Edwardsville Glen Carbon Chapter. That's pretty cool. Next we have SIUE Student Government. Again, one of the jewels here in Edwardsville is SIUE. They keep growing every year. I don't know if you knew it, but they are the largest campus as far as acreage, I believe, in the United States. I could be wrong, but I, I, I don't think I am. All I know is they have a lot of space out there building all kinds of new buildings so fantastic for SIU growing 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 next we have Synergy Healthcare Solutions LLC they've got a parade over there where dreams come true bringing you back to your childhood days when you were pain free of course pain management, chiropractic, and physical therapy services. <laughs> 55 is Swing City Music. Two locations, one right here in Edwardsville and the main store in Collinsville. Got a live band in the back, you gotta love that. They have all kinds of instruments. They provide lessons. Uh, name it, they have the instrument, any kind of amplifiers and all the equipment needed for a band. It's fantastic. Followed next by Safe Escape Rooms. I've never done that, but people who have done it have said it's fantastic. Their entry is a tribute to the Lincoln Log Cabin State Historical Site in Lerna, Illinois. I want to do one of those escape things. SafeEscaperooms.com. Fantastic. We have next Edwardsville Neighbors in Need. Looks like they're promoting the uh, annual Turkey Trot. Obviously, there's a turkey on the roof of the car. That's Thanksgiving morning. We did that one Thanksgiving. I don't know, about, about six years ago, perhaps. Followed by Sonic Drive-In, home to the Cherry Limeade and the Ultimate Drink Stop. I love, they got great burgers, too. I don't know if you had a hamburger from... They got good tater tots, good stuff. Next, we have the Edwardsville Catholic Schools made up of St. Boniface and Mary's and St. Mary's. Participating students are in the fourth to eighth grade, and the band is under the direction of Marsha Etzcorn and Susanna Arana. Rain has picked up a little bit, but still not too bad. 
Uh, we got a little lull again in the parade. Seems to me we have the lulls right around the band time. Every band that's come through, there's been a little gap beforehand and afterward as well, but that's all right. I'll go through, yeah, I, my counterpart on the other side of the street is uh, thanking the sponsors. I can do that as well. There are several big sponsors this year. They are First Mid-America Credit Union, Anderson Hospital, First Community Credit Union, JF Electric, Stillwater Senior Living, Cassins and Sons, Gory Julian and Associates, Sunset Hills Family Dental, Higher Level, McDonald's, Southside's All-Star Collision, Tiger Plumbing Heating, AC and Electrical Services, Hepler Broom, Weber and Rodney Funeral Home. Again, thank you all for supporting the Edwardsville Glen Carbon Chamber of Commerce annual Halloween Parade. Next on my list, yes, it's uh, the first Midbank and Trust celebrating the USA. Got the Statue of Liberty, a tank here in front with Proud to be an American blasting through the speakers. That's a pretty cool tank on the front. First Mid Bank and Trust. Followed next by the Edwardsville Wrestling Club. Uh, and again, a whole bunch of wrestlers following behind the truck. Again, just another one of the great sporting programs that comes out of Edwardsville High School with a fantastic wrestling facility right at the sports complex. Great coaching. Again, always are in contention for various titles. We're followed next by Metro East Heat baseball team. I'm guessing that's a perhaps a club baseball team. Yeah, there's the, the team there in the back. They're all wearing Miami Heat gear. Well, actually, Metro East Heat gear. Looks like Miami Heat. And Dex's tree service. This sucker is in the parades all the time. Fantastic. I'm not sure how he parks that in the garage, but, but I don't know. The wheel's as tall as that guy out there. That's pretty scary. Need a ladder to get in that thing. And it's pretty loud. If he would have read that bad boy up, it is pretty loud. That's craziness. Next we have the May team at Coldwell Banker Brown Realtors. Kelly and Ron, May, M-A-Y, the force be with you. Oh, there's a little play on words. A little Star Wars thing. And they got a X-Wing fighter on the back, nicely done. And of course, everybody is dressed up in Star Wars attire. Boba Fett, Princess Leia, of course Darth, Darth Maul, the new bad guy, I can't remember his name. Kylo Ren, that's it. Thank you, Brianna. I should know that thing. I've, I've seen those movies. Boba Fett was my favorite. Next, we have San Gabriel Memory Care. It says Alzheimer's and Dementia Care at the San Gabriel Memory Care facility and Highland, Glen Carbon, and Godfrey. And followed then by the Center Grove Presbyterian Church with a Harvest Light Festival float. It's coming up behind the pickup. Here's some members of the Center Grove Presbyterian Church throwing out candy. 
Looks like there's cups. Nice. You always need plastic cups. It's the Harvest Light Festival, free and open to everyone, Saturday, November 3rd, from 4 to 6 at the church. Free pony rides. Oh, that'll bring in some people. Live music, food, games, and more. Followed closely by Circle K with the Polar Pop. I don't think I've ever had a Polar Pop. I might have to try one. Oh, look at the little kids in the back there. Ooh, a baby. A little wrapped up. Again, it's warm enough for the little ones to be out here tonight. Next, we have Clark Chiropractic. Never been to a chiropractor before either. I've been to physical therapy. I had a little problem with my back a while, a while ago. We're all good now. But never been to a chiropractor. Chiropractor. I'm always afraid when they snap your neck. It scares me. Next we have Landmark Realty Incorporated. Bunch of zombies following that. Followed closely by the Edwardsville YMCA. Strengthening community is our cause. They work side by side with our neighbors to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to learn, grow, and thrive. Edwardsville YMCA. Great organization here for the city of Edwardsville. I believe there are three different locations. Uh, two Y centers and then an early child care center, I believe. So uh, there are three buildings involved in the Edwardsville YMCA. They're dropping a lot of candy. The kids know that. And our police officers nicely getting kids off the street. Followed next by St. John's United Methodist Church. Of course, the Blues Brothers, where the, Logan, uh, the slogan is, they're on a mission from God. The Blues Brothers movies, which was filmed in 1980 in Chicago. And that's the theme for their float, the Blues Brothers. Nice. Once we get past the Blues Brothers, we have SIUE student nurses. Not all heroes wear capes. That's correct. They shouldn't be handing out candy though, don't you think? Maybe tongue depressors or something? Yeah, I don't know, I'm just saying. Our health club and spa is next. Ooh, there's Superman in front. I'm guessing that's Lois Lane. I don't know what Superman is wearing there. It looks like he broke his arm or something. I don't know. Flying over Metropolis. Followed by the Edwardsville Rotary Club. This is the Citrus Queen. They're an organization of business and professional leaders whose objective is service in the community and throughout the world. Please show your support during their citrus drive by purchasing oranges and grapefruits until November 29th. Several people at the city are part of the Rotary Club. They're already selling oranges and grapefruits. Next we have Town and Country Bank celebrating 200 years the city, uh, well, no, not the city, the state. Bicentennial. Next, we have Lewis and Clark Community College in Godfrey. And there's, some, there's a, a site here in Edwardsville as well. 
another great addition to the Metro East area, Lewis and Clark, fantastic school. Next we have St. Boniface Parish, right here in downtown Edwardsville. It's not quite downtown, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. Right across from uh, Caddy Corner from the Edwardsville Public Library, the Fountain area. That's their, uh, their towel or, or steeple. You can see that just about anywhere in Edwardsville. Uh-oh, we have a little lull, and no bands were involved this time, so I don't know what the problem is there. But, um, but that's fine. Kids, now there's an opportunity for the kids to uh, clean up the streets and get all the candy out of the way. Brianna is uh, hoarding the candy, I see. I doubt she's going to offer me any either. So I might have to dock her some time on her paycheck, but that's all right. <laughs> Again, I'm John Cunningham of the city of Edwardsville. We've been doing the parade, uh, well I know I've been doing the parade for about 25 years and, and we were doing it before then, I think since 1986, ECTV has been doing the parade. Only live these past couple years and it looks like we're doing okay live. We had a, a brief meltdown on our computer there that shut us off but we got it back up and running. So it looks like we got somebody coming, I believe this is um, well, no, this is not who was supposed to be next. This is New Song Fellowship Church, I believe, if the numbers are correct. Their slogan is uh, Love Wins. Yep, this is them. They got it on their, uh, on their shirts and hoodies there. They'll begin their jubilee year of celebration on January 1st. Here we go, Love Wins at newsong.com. Got a little video here working. Right here in downtown Edwardsville. Skipped a few uh, participants. However, next we have Edison's Entertainment Complex. They have teamed up with Elite Events to provide you with a look into Illinois train history, which dates back to 1837. A little train there with some cars. Illinois was once home to the most class one railroads ever. No other state past or present features such a wide variety of liveries operations and history as does Illinois and again book your party now at Edison's your local family fun complex for some genius level fun next we have we're getting past this Cairo Pro <coughs> I'm assuming it's chiropractic services that that would be a guess followed by Caldwell Brown excuse me Caldwell Banker Brown Realtors. They have uh, homes for sale with balloons coming out of the chimney. Nicely done. Coldwell Banker Brown Realtors. Next we have Serta Pro Painters located in Troy. They provide professional painting services throughout Madison County and the St. Louis metro area. There's a woman in a Charlie Brown shirt over there. Nicely done. Good grief.
Kids are creeping into the street. We're going to need to get them back because here comes some trucks. Oh, here comes the police. They're going to be taking care of business. <clears throat> This is Hope Animal Rescues, celebrating Illinois history and 10 years participating in the Edwardsville Halloween Parade. They are an all-volunteer dog rescue who saves dogs on their last day of life from Madison County Animal Control Facilities, founded in 2005. There's a dog driving that car. That's Scooby-Doo, looks like. A little uh, information on Robert Wadlow, the world's tallest Boy Scout, at 8 feet 11 and 1 8 inches. That's tall. Next, we have the Edwardsville Public Library, right here in downtown. Another jewel of the city of Edwardsville. They want you to get your books on Route 66. Grab the kids, your Uncle Joe, and your mobile device. Head over to the best local source for traditional and downloadable books, movies, TV, and more. Only at the Edwardsville Public Library. They hold a lot of great events over there. Next we have Heartland Veterinary Hospital. Ooh, he's got a bag of the good stuff. Kit Kats, Reese's, that's the good stuff right there. And some pooches right behind the truck and in the truck. That looks like a St. Bernard right over there. It is. That's a big dog, beautiful dog. Next we have Keller Williams Marquis. Real estate is popping, nicely done with some popcorn along the sides. And again, Superman flying above the city. Oh look, there's the Wildy Theory now showing with popcorn along the sides, nicely done. This looks to be Red Hill Church. No, that's still Hart, that's still Keller Williams Marquis. Now, here we go. This is Red Hill Church. They were all wearing red shirts. I thought that's who it was, but no. This is Red Hill Church. That's a cool uh, float there. It's under the sea. Yeah, there's some sharks, some coral, some sea fish, some starfish. That's pretty cool. Some jellyfish on the back. I think we missed that. Pretty cool. This says progressive insurance. Hosto Financial Insurance. That's who that was. That was Flo handing out candy, wasn't it? From Progressive. Yep, that's right. Didn't have any Flo's at, at our house for Halloween this year. Had one a couple years ago. Did a good job. No Flo's this year. I can't tell. Oh, this is McAllister's Deli of Edwardsville. Have you eaten there? Yes? Oh my goodness gracious. It is fantastic. There's also one uh, on campus at ISU, Illinois State University, where my daughter Claire goes. Loves it. So we usually get her gift cards for Christmas so she can use them here or, uh, or on, on campus. Next we have Sylvan Learning Center. Oh, this is Sacagawea. Guided Lewis and Clark through the wilds of the West. Sylvian guides students through the wilds of math, reading, and of course the dreaded homework. They're all doing the floss dance on the back of there. Nicely done. And the Gateway Grizzlies. If you want to watch good baseball with a family uh, friendly environment, go to a Gateway Grizzlies game. It's fantastic. Have you ever been? Oh, you have? Oh, fantastic. They do birthday parties for the kids. They get to go down on the field and High five of the players and everything. It's really a cool atmosphere, and they really do it up nice for uh, for the fans out there at Gateway Grizzlies. 
Next we have uh, Edwardsville FFA Chapter. I know that guy right there. That's Ryan right over there. He's waving at us. <laughs> Ryan Hellman, a uh, friend of ours from church, part of the uh, EHS FFA chapter. Next, it looks as if we have Pet Smart Grooming. I think so. Yep, there's a dog out there. I'm assuming that's who it is. Oh, a dog was driving too. She's going pretty fast. Again, uh, recently groomed puppies, I believe. Ooh, there's a couple huskies in there. Ooh, that dog is dressed up as a skunk. Let's hope it's not a real skunk. <laughs> Again, that was PetSmart grouping, grooming. They're located uh, in uh, Glen Carbon, I believe. I think so, yeah. Been a light drizzle pretty much all night. But uh, so far, so good. This equipment a little, a little moist. But that's all right. We're all good. This looks like it is. It's Gateway Cricket Wireless in the green Honda. Again, the streets are still packed. A lot of people here lining the streets up and down. I'm looking back the other way down Main Street. It's packed that way as well. So again, a, a great turnout for this year's Halloween parade. Almost seems to get bigger and bigger every year. It's hard to tell though, but especially when the weather's pretty nice as it is tonight, minus the, minus the small drizzle. But there are a lot of people, a lot of people lining the streets today. This is Overhead Door Company of St. Louis. They got a, a, a pop, uh, Popeye theme again, a can of spinach, and that's Popeye. Looks like Olive Oil's got a five o'clock shadow up there. Woo! She needs to get some uh, electrolysis, I think. Work on that. And this is, uh, is this Sidebar Technologies, I think. It is, yes. They help uh, repair all your PC and, and, and phone needs. Followed by the Cyclery and Fitness Center. Hence, the people on bikes. Ooh, there's the, ooh, the tall bike with the... Uh, with the uh, Abraham Lincoln guy on top. That seems like it'd be really hard to do. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Then there's the dude with the fat tires. Gotta love those bikes. We're getting close to the end here. As I can see in the distance, the ambulances and, and fire trucks, that's who usually closes out the parades for us. But next we have Southwestern Electric Cooperative Incorporated. Always helping out when we have uh, downed electrical lines from uh, big storms or just trees falling over. Uh, always helpful out at all hours of the night. And that's usually when it happens is in the middle of the night. So I got to give them a, a shout out. Then we have Briar Bank Farm for the first time in the parade. Hopefully it's the first of many. They're out of Marine, Illinois. Briarbankfarm.com. Ooh, that's a skeleton horse. That's freaky with the headless horseman. 
Yeah, we're wrapping things up, as you can see, by all the uh, flashing lights. Here's one of the Glen Carbon old-timey uh, fire engines. I'm not sure they, uh, they use that. I think it's just for show. That's when the buildings weren't so tall. <laughs> Here's one of the Glen Carbon fire trucks. This is the uh, engine 1913 for the Glen, from the Glen Carbon Fire Protection District. There's a Glen Carbon ambulance following close behind. I can hardly see with the flashing lights. I think this is one of Edwardsville's fire department vehicles. Uh, the all-terrain vehicle, uh, its main purpose is uh, for the bike trails. It can go out on the bike trails and, and bring necessary rescue uh, attention to anybody in need, among other things, not just for the bike trails. Next, we have an Edwardsville ambulance. They're just right down the street in their uh, new public safety facility that houses both the fire department and the Edwardsville Police Department. Great new addition to the city of Edwardsville. This is uh, Edwardsville Fire Truck. This is the Quint 1330. And that is the last vehicle in the Halloween parade. So again, we want to say thank you to all of our sponsors. I listened to them earlier in the parade. Uh, and just again, a wonderful evening out here for the 2018 Edwardsville Glen Carbon Halloween Parade, Chamber of Commerce Halloween Parade. We hope you've enjoyed it. For John Cunningham and Brianna Roseman for the city of Edwardsville, have a great evening.